How's it going guys, JT Red Eye here, and here's a tutorial of my mini-series, and today we're going to start off with just, you know, sort of the basics, starting Minecraft. I already did a video on this, but this is like an updated version, and it's going to be better. And sorry if my voice is whispery, um, it's, it's laid out right now, and I don't want to wake anyone up. So if my voice sounds, like, not enthusiastic as normal, then that's because it's really late anyway if you like this video leave a like and share it with your friends and also I kind of make a lot of jokes in this video but it's it's the information is still there hey how's it going guys JT Red Eye here and I have a really crappy chroma key on um, uh, really ghetto setup is gonna look shitty until I can fix it anyway so here I'm gonna start my new mini series or I'm basically just going to show you how to be good at Minecraft. Yeah, like somebody needs a tutorial for that. So let's start off by, you know, creating a world. So let's name it... World. Yeah. So there's three different game modes. Survival, Hardcore, and Creative. Obviously, we're going to start off with Survival. Show you how to get a good, uh, like a good start at it. So, generated structures, yeah, just keep it on. Allow cheats, that's just for commands. Just, eh, it doesn't really matter. Bonus chest is you get free loot at the beginning, which I'm going to do that. So, default is regular game type. Super flat is mainly a creative thing. Don't worry about it. Large biomes is just bigger biomes, like you would have guessed. My chroma key is doing some really funky things over there, but we're going to just pretend that doesn't happen amplified is just really big like everything's really weird and stuff giant mountains and such customized that's where you get to fiddle around with your own stuff and build your own world sort of doesn't i don't really like to play with it so the seed is every there uh the way a seed work is every mine there's like a set number of minecraft worlds that you can load like there's a couple million right and each one has a seed so you put the seed in there and it gives you that world so that's how all minecraft world work minecraft worlds work okay so let's jump into this we go in the world and as you see i did some upgrades everything looking fancy now love it i'm gonna just do a let's play with these shaders on Anyway, where'd that chest... There it is. So, when you should spawn, around your spawn, you'll find a little chest with torches around it to light it up. And just basic food and wood, basic tools and such. Alright, so let's just break this up. And obviously, if you are spawned right beside a village, you're going to go check it out. No question about it. But first thing you should do and just a regular minecraft world is get some wood chop yourself down a tree there we go i don't think i have my minecraft sounds on hold on there we go so you get yourself some wood and you would first make yourself a crafting table make yourself some tools that's a bit too loud there so Obviously, I have this village, so what I'm looking for is bookshelves, and obviously some food here, so let's just grab up this food. You're going to need, before you go down to, like, mining, which is what I recommend the first thing you do when you start up a world, is get tools and go straight to mining, is you get food. Like, there's animals and stuff, kill them get food before you go down or else you're going to die of starvation while you're down there or you just won't be able to regen so there wasn't a blacksmith in this in this world but don't worry i'm going to show you all about villagers and their villages so you'll see that in a later video so once you have this you uh, ideally you look for something like that a hole and you jump down into it first you you want to you don't want to jump in there with like a wooden pick there's really no point so it's just quicker if you 
craft one before you go all the way down into a mine. I always pick up my crafting tables. You don't really need to. But, ooh, spooky. So what you're looking for is coal. Here, let's just, so you can see things. You're looking for coal. Coal is important. What? Coal is important because you use it to make torches so you can explore further. And also, it's also good for smelting. It can smelt eight items in a furnace. Which is why you brought food. Or meat. Yeah, so once you get your coal. So I got my coal here. I get up crafting recipe right here. Make some some torches. There, I got 21 cor torches. I can go adventuring. So you just run around like this. And you're looking for iron at this point. Because iron is used for basically everything. Here is some iron right here. So you get your iron and it's basically the next level of tools. You need iron for everything. Just look for iron. When you start off the world, get straight down to the mines, get yourself full tools of iron because you're going to need it. So let's just continue work looking down on the mines here. Placing torches, that is a creeper. Okay, we're back. I picked up what was left and I crafted myself a sword so I wouldn't die again like that. I know I'm supposed to be uh I'm supposed to be showing you how to play Minecraft and I kind of died right off the bat, but that creeper snuck up on me. Anyway, let's just say you got got this iron here. So you basically just do this until you get iron. So mining in caves is a great source to get iron. And just roam around. And you place torches so mobs don't spawn and completely wreck you. So once you get this iron here, what you're going to do is you're going to throw it on the ground. Just like that. Iron. No, I'm just kidding. You just... Smelted in the furnace, but I'm too. I, I I don't. I didn't feel like smelting it in a furnace. So once you have your iron like this, you're gonna go ahead and get yourself a crafting table, and then you take your iron, your iron blocks, and you uncraft them into ingots, ingots, and then you just make yourself some iron gear, like this. Boom! 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 And then, there, now you're never going to die from mobs again, unless you're really bad. And that's how you start off your world with, uh, this is like, what is this? I think, third step, get iron stuff. And obviously, I just didn't feel like getting the iron, so the purpose of the videos I cheated it in so now you're just going to not get shot by the skeleton which you know I'm gonna go fight the skeleton so you can see there's a cooldown in any minecraft update that is past 1.8 where if you don't wait for the cooldown your swing only does a fraction of what you actually did um, messing up a why? Oh, there's a head bobber there. I think it'd just be easier if I just did this. <laughs> okay. So. Just do that. And there's a tree. And this is obviously, I've, it's been a long time. And I, I can't, I can't Minecraft like I used to. And that's okay. Because now I'm going to show you how to build a house. So, first, you just start punch like that you get a bunch of wood and what you do with this wood is you go ahead and you take your planks and you don't live in the village because that's what a true noob does and you don't want to be a noob do you and you go ahead and yeah let's go find a spot to build my house sure right here is a good spot and here we go Punch this out of the way, and you want to do is lay down your foundation. That's perfect. Let's do a little fancy thing like that. 
It'll fun fact swords. If you don't have a proper tool, break things faster than anything faster than your hand. Okay, pretend now you have your little foundation. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do that. And break this bottom little piece and you're gonna go boom boom. And just build around like so. Nope, not like that. That perfect. And then you are going to build up. Shit. I am not good at building up, am I? Sure, my Minecraft looks fancy, but will it look fancy with my building skills? Probably not. And here we go. We got a little interior going on. Put some torches up to light. And put that there. You put the crafting table down. You build yourself a door. There's different types of doors depending on the wood, but, but you're not gonna really care. It's a door. So now for aesthetics, we're gonna do is we're gonna transform that into sticks. And I no, that's the other way around. Yeah, I Minecraft well. There's fences, there's your fences, and just for aesthetics, make it look like your house isn't floating off of a cliff. And you just boom and boom 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 boom. Just make sure your house isn't floating. And there you go. I got your house. And usually what I would do is I wouldn't even come up and build a house until I at least had diamonds, which can be mined with iron. So if you just stay down in the mines for longer and you mine at okay so diamond spawn a good a good spawn height for diamonds is 12 so you press f3 and this pops up you see this number right here that's your y value and you want to be at y 12 and that is a good spot for you to mine diamonds and you can only mine them with an iron pickaxe but i usually get diamonds get like a fair bit amount and then i'll come up because then I'll have, like, better gear, sword, everything. Diamonds is good. And then I'll build my house. After I pick a spot and I build a house just like this. And another thing that is very important that you're going to want to do. Is you're going to want a bed. And it's made by placing three pieces of wool. And three pieces of wood, just like that, you see? But you got you got to, like, mix them up so it works better. Like, you just boom, boom. So like that, it turns into wool. And you got yourself a bed. And what you can do with your bed is you can set it down. And you can sleep on it, right? You can sleep on the bed. And then, turns it to day. And you don't have to fight monsters. So there you have it. How to start your world off, right? So let's recap what we've learned. We've learned, first, you spawn in. Then what you do is you punch down some trees. You get wood. You go straight to the mines. And then you get a bunch of iron. And you can come up and start building your house there, but I recommend getting diamonds too, and getting leveling up your gears and stuff. And then you go build a house, and then you're on from there, and you won't die as much, and it will be easier. Another thing I recommend is playing around with your difficulties. Peaceful is like unlimited regen. Here, I'll, I'll prove a point right here. So easy is easy. Normal is what like standard mobs should be usually like what they should be and then here let's jump boom hearts you see in peaceful how my hearts are regening relatively quickly and easy it absorbs hunger but hunger is still pretty OP because it uh, well it goes up slowly I think it's just because I got hunger from eating the rotten flesh. And then hard is hard. So, and that's it for this tutorial of how to start your Minecraft world up right. And if you like my videos, you can go and hit the subscribe and leave a like and a comment. And that would just be really good. And if you want to see more of my, well, I guess it doesn't look too crappy right now my chroma key with my faded or non-visible background which is new and yeah just go hit that subscribe and my really awkward rants when i'm trying to end the video so yeah just subscribe subscribe and spam all your friends